Let's start out by setting a few things straight here. I know I've coached some of you when you were in elementary school. This will be the first class coming up that has been with me since elementary school. I'm not Coach Nick. I'm not Nick. I'm not your dad. I'm not your mom. I'm your coach. I'm Coach Russo. I'm Mr. Russo or Sir. Okay, Coach Giddock goes by the same vein, right? Same thing. It's Coach Giddock, all right? It's out of respect. This is high school varsity hockey now. This isn't mites, this isn't peewees, this isn't squirrels, this is bantams, it isn't even midgets. Okay, some of you already play midgets. This is a step up from midgets. Okay, some expectations. When we have a function, I expect you to be on time. All right, I realize some of you can't drive. If you can't be on time, you let a captain know why you're late. The captains will let me know once captains are picked. All right. You let me know right now if you're going to be late or going to miss something. Like right now, I know Brett Christie's home sick. Or not sick. He's got a, dentist, a doctor's appointment. I know uh, that Brent is out sick from school today. Speaking of school, I will know when you're absent and when you're not absent. Right, returning varsity players? I will know your grades. Right, returning varsity players? Eligibility is very important. Okay? You cannot play if you are failing two subjects. All right? And I will know that. All right? Um, and if you're failing at the end of the semester, you have to wait two weeks, you're ineligible. 15 school days. If you do not go to school, if you are late or you leave early, you cannot play or practice. All right, does everybody understand that? From now on, if you have rust and gear, you will wear your rust and gear. I expect to have the socks this week. I expect to have shells this week. All right, blue jerseys. Some of you don't have blue jerseys yet. That's okay. If you have rust and stuff, you wear rust and stuff. I don't care if you play for Bud Dombrowski's midget AAA junior flyer team. That doesn't mean shit to me. I'm going to, tell, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to prove that point, okay? A couple years ago, we, played a, we, played, we put a, a varsity team together and we played in a summer tournament. How many of you were part of that summer tournament? Raise your hand. And we played AAA teams. And you know why we were successful? It wasn't because we were better than everybody else, but we beat VSK. Remember why we beat VSK? Because they were a bunch of individuals and hotheads and we played as a team. I will put my team up against anybody. I am not afraid to play anybody with this team because we are a team. Speaking of that, we have some new faces this year. A lot of freshmen, a couple transfers. All right, freshmen and transfers, you are part of this family and will be treated as such. All right, there's no initiation, no hazing, no bullshit that goes on on my watch or anybody else's watch. All right, I hold the upperclassmen accountable for all actions. Upperclassmen, as you know, they are your little brothers. You are to treat them as such. When they're in the hall and they're having trouble, you are there, right? Hell, I even had Michael Gunnarsson beat up a girl because of somebody. I think she was picking on his sister or something like that. I don't even remember, but, all right? That's what we do. We stick up for our family, right? Doesn't matter whether you're a, a ninth grader on the JV team or, or a senior on the, on the varsity team. We are a family on and off the ice. If you need help, you get help. You either find me or talk to one of the upperclassmen. They will let you know how to find me and when to talk to me. All right? I've had kids tell me they've gotten their girlfriends pregnant. I've had kids tell me they've had venereal diseases. I've had kids tell me that their parents are getting a divorce. I've had all kinds of things come to me in 30 years. And oh yes, by the way, this is my 30th season of coaching. I just heard from Jake in the pro shop that one of my former player's sons, who I also coached, both of them, he just turned 18, so he's probably the first shot I have at hopefully co coaching a third generation of, of Burns's. Um, as far as everything else is concerned, we'll do a lot more of that off the ice. All right, today we're going to try to get some flow going all right, and get some shots in. I do want you guys to understand, some of you will be JV players and JV players only this year. Some of you will be JV players and, and swing up to varsity to fill out the roster. As you know, some of you varsity players will not be locked and be swinging down to play JV games as needed. And yes, some of you will be varsity players. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is this before we get going and I, I show you the first drill. I said something at the banquet that I, I, I regretted over the summer. I said at the banquet that after the East game, when we lost to him in double overtime, I woke up the next morning satisfied. I thought we did everything we could do. Looking back, I was still satisfied that morning, but you have time to watch that game again. You have time to think about things. And that was our game too. A missed breakaway, a goal post, a crossbar, right? It could have gone either way. 
And I'll tell you what, if we had won that game, we would have been state champs. All right? We're not going to be underdogs this year. You know that. All right? You weren't underdogs last year. Every team that dresses up and puts on a gold jersey for me, every coach in this league knows when my team walks into the building, they're going to be prepared to play and to win. You will never be underdogs. And you certainly won't be underdogs this year. And I will not, I will not accept anything less than a state championship. Now we're going to go through a lot of shit this year. We're going to go through some ups, some downs, some eligibility, some injuries, some girlfriends, some you know, all kinds of things. But what we're going to do, we're going to do it together. And we're going to be successful at the JV level, and we're going to be successful at the varsity level. And that success means a state championship. That's Coach Gaduck coming out on the ice right now. The gentleman in the beard that's around here somewhere is our trainer. All right, that's Murph. Uh, you upperclassmen, point Murph out to the rookies. All right, where is he? Oh, there he is. I didn't see him behind John. All right, Murph is part of my coaching staff. There's only a couple people that can sit you besides me. Yourself for getting bad grades, your parents, and Murph because you're injured. If you need a Band-Aid, you need your hand held, you need your, your whatever changed. Your diaper changed, you see Murph, not me, okay? Everybody understand that? Everybody understand that? Okay, all right, first drill we're gonna do is a goalie warm up. Goalie at each end, it's a relatively new drill but we've done this before, similar. We're gonna start out with a line in each, at each hash mark. One there, one here. On the whistle, the first guy in each line is gonna take off. This guy's going this way, this guy's going this way. You're gonna go below the dots. Once he gets to that dot, the next guy in line should be moving, all right, because when he turns this dot, you're gonna give him that 10 o'clock, two o'clock pass. So he's gonna go in and shoot on that goal, and go back to the end of that line. After you, when you throw the pass, you're gonna keep going. You keep going, and the next guy in line should already have taken off and thrown that pass. Remember in training camp I talked about you have to already be leaving that line. That would have been funny if I tripped on the cones on film, wouldn't it? Uh, when, you, when that guy's swinging around, you already got to be moving because you want that, that, that short angle, 45 degree angle pass. All right? Keep the shots low, get them on the goalies, warm up the goalies. Goalies, if somebody hits you in the head or hits you in the face right now, we're going to put them in goal. All right? I can't afford to have goalies hurt. All right, let's get a line in that corner. Wait, hold on. That corner and that corner. 